Hey everyone and welcome back. Ho ho ho, it's almost Christmas. I hope you're getting ready to have a nice relaxing holiday with plenty of nice food. So from me to you, Merry Christmas. I would also like to point out that I've created a maker support page so you have an alternative to Patreon if you don't like that service. Either way, any support is greatly appreciated. Thank you. And now for today's video. I found an MTV video that I've missed, that everyone's missed. I don't know how that's even possible, but we're gonna rectify that situation right now, aren't we? Oh yeah. Enjoy. Hello everybody, my name is Dev Blair and sometimes I like to wear makeup. No, really? Are you sure? It's so hard to tell when you apply it with such Subtlety. Why? Exactly. Because I'm non-binary. Oh, so that's what non-binary means. Someone who puts on weird makeup. All right, got it. Thank you for explaining this to us. It's been almost a month since I came out as genderqueer on my main channel. Something tells me no one was surprised. You're not taking this seriously. No, I'm not. I've since changed that label to non-binary. Yeah, because God forbid a word retains its meaning for more than a month, am I right? Because I find that it fits me more. You do realize that they're both bullshit, right? You're just a guy who enjoys makeup. You don't need to invent a whole new gender for that. Just own your fetish, dude. I know I do. Phenomena. Still, if you're interested in knowing more about what non-binary means... We've been over this. It means painting your lips blue, remember? And what the label means to me specifically and personally... Yeah, don't care. You can check out my blog or you can follow MTV Voices because there will be a piece coming out with them very soon that explains my perspective on things. MTV putting out stupid shit? Who'd have thought? No one saw that coming. For this video, I want to talk about the three things that no one told me about identifying as non-binary. Ooh, 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 let me guess. You got hit by the pink tax. Let's get started. Okay, hit me. Well, not not physically, though. You know, just, just making that clear. First thing is pronouns are not easy. That's what I've been saying. We're gonna get along just fine, you and me, aren't we? Literally figuring out which pronouns to use to express the kind of gender that I feel within myself. Ooh, that didn't come out right. I don't want to hear about your sexual encounters, dude. I hear the sperm is very good today. I mean, the salmon. Before I even came out as non-binary, I started telling people, hey, I'd like to use they, them, theirs pronouns. And I bet they just looked at you like you've grown another head, right? But even so, I forget to use those pronouns for myself all the time. Hey, moron! Fucking moron! You can't even remember the pronouns and you expect other people to remember it? Won't somebody please give me a 9mm aspirin? And I don't know if it's because I actually just prefer he, him, his pronouns, or if it's just because I've spent 18 years identifying as male and so all of my habits are just to refer to myself as such. Well, what else would they say? You're a guy. Either way, I know that when someone says to me that I'm a guy, I don't like it. Oh. Well, excuse the hell out of me. So I know that I'm not making up what I'm feeling. He lies. He does that, you know. Yeah, but could you be feeling what you're making up? But it's just tricky figuring out pronouns and how you want to use them. No, it's not. Just get a book on grammar, asshole. The second thing is the appropriate label for your sexuality might actually change depending on how you identify in terms of gender. How about if you spend less time on labels and more time on actual fucking? How about that? Now, this isn't something that I thought about beforehand. Yeah, why think about what you're going to put in the video before you make the video? That might make the video good, and we wouldn't want that. But if you're an individual who, for example, identified as male and then now identifies as something that isn't male, yeah, that only applies if you're Blair White or something. You don't look like Blair White to me. I think you may have forgotten about the hormone part. 
contrary to popular belief, your sex does not change when you update your Facebook profile. You can't really use the label gay per se to describe your sexuality because you're not a male that's attracted to males. <laughs> yes, you are. Thankfully, we have the terms androsexual, which means attraction to guys. Oh yeah? How about when the sex androids come out, huh? What then? Checkmate. And gynosexual, which means attraction to females. Or gynecologists. To clear that whole thing up. Oh yeah, that sure cleared it up. That didn't make it more confusing at all. No siree. The third thing is there is no guide to figuring out how to express the gender that you feel within you. Maybe if you clench and squeeze really hard, you can express it. Come on now, let me hear you dig in. Holding things in can give you cancer. If I could count the amount of times that I've had to stop and question whether my gender expression is actually appropriate for the setting that I'm going out for. Yep, no self-awareness here. Moving on. Well, I would know some new numbers because literally just the other day I had an interview and I was hesitating just to put on lipstick. Well, I guess that depends on whether you want the job or not. You'll discover a couple of things about me. I treat people fairly, but I'm also ruthless. And the thing is, I am a strong believer that just by virtue of identifying with the label non-binary, you have a non-binary body. Dear Lord, these people, identifying as something does not alter your body. Jesus Christ. On a bicycle bow. But there is no right or wrong way to express that, and so figuring that out can really mess you up. Yeah, we kind of figured that. I'm not sure what gave it away. Tranquilizers, antidepressants, antipsychotics. Looks like our friend here was being treated for a number of different psychiatric problems. Yeah, why doesn't that surprise me? Especially if, you know, you've spent so long identifying with the one type of gender and having all those gender roles pressed onto you and forced onto you. Mm, that sounds kind of dirty. But now it's like you're trying to shed all that, but you're still not sure if people will receive it the way that you want to. Jesus, everything you say sounds dirty. But what you have to realize is it's not for other people. It's for you and you should do what makes you feel happy. Oh, really? Is that why you're media blitzing the hell out of everyone about this shit? It's totally not an ideology you're trying to push here. No, no, no. You're just doing it for you. You go, man, girl, whatever. To each his own. Her. I meant her. There's actually a fourth piece that I want to talk about in this video, but instead I'm going to save it for the written piece that I am going to be publishing with MTV Voices. Oh, thank God. The discussion point for this video is, what is your experience of gender? You can let me know by commenting. Why, my experience of gender is awesome. Now, if you'll excuse me, the president's about to award the Congressional Medal of Honor to my dick. Mm. 